Hey everyone, my name's Drew, and we're here. This is going to be number eight of the GDL League Island Defenders League. We're up against Grandmaster D Ray and his San Diego Snugglers. Now, this is a really interesting matchup, right? So, uh, a lot of things are, go are going on right now, and um, I had a crawl back um, from this position, which if I win this match, I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I'm four and four, and I'm putting myself back into the playoff race a little bit. Uh, it's always going to be kind of an uphill match, but uh, honestly, I'm tired. I wanted to kind of build out this this team to kind of have more, have more fun with it i don't think this is really an optimal team I, I really don't think this is a as strong a team as i can as i'm capable of building but um at the same time i just wanted to kind of have fun with this team that i built i think that i optimized this team for kind of how fun these uh these team this team would, would work together but okay we will see uh we will see the Melmetal, Gmax, Snorlax, uh, Noivern, Weezing, Slowking, and Crocodile. So, okay, so right off the bat, there is no Mienchao, which is really interesting to me. No Delmize is really interesting to me. Uh, no Colossal is sizable to me somewhat. And no Roselli is actually really, 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 really interesting to me. I guess uh, he definitely brought his best mods, but I definitely thought Roselli had a chance because it does um, stop a decent amount of what I want to do here. Um... But what would I want to do here? What I want to do here? I mean, part of me just wants to lead off with the Clive key. I don't think that's optimal, though. Uh, I kind of want to lead off... Hmm. I kind of... I mean, Primarine is an obvious lead, right? I honestly also want to lead off with... With the Halucha. I think I will do that. I think that's totally fine. But, um, but yeah, again... Um, even my team last week, and I had a lot of, um, fun kind of building and, you know, working with that team last week, um, that was really interesting because I just kind of had fun building around a single Mon, and Halucha ended up getting five KOs in that matchup, which was really interesting to me, um, it got more KOs in that one week than, than, uh, the, than the Drake result that it replaced for the entire rest of the season, um, up to that point, so, um, I think I just kind of want to build with around certain mods that I think I would have fun with. And yeah, I kind of did expect this Crooked Out to, to want to lead off with. So, um, this is an easy U-turn for me. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking from the beginning. But, I am also curious. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this thing would be Scarfed. Um, it actually does look like... Close combat, even at minus one, would be a straight up KO. Which I guess should make me want a U-turn here. If it's max HP. If it's max HP that I'm still doing over half. I mean, he he might want to switch out, although I would doubt it. I would doubt it. Is there a real downside to just clicking close combat? I really want it's either between close combat or U-turn here. I don't know. I'm gonna click close combat. Why not? I mean, like I said, we're just kinda here to have fun with it. I just wanna um See if I can make some things happen. Does go off, and that is a straight up KO. No focus, Ash. Uh, it will deny rocks. I think he kind of expected me to either be more of a setup, Halucha, or or just kind of not be as as aggressive on turn one as I as I just was. But um, this this kind of team is about clicking buttons, and already Halucha is off to to a six and zero start uh, on the team after two weeks. So um, I'm already having a ton of fun with with Halucha. I've, I've, I've only bought a bandit so far. Out comes a Noivern, which is, uh, interesting. I think Clefkey's always going... Yeah, you see my band, that's fine. Um, but I think Clefkey is always going to be the play here. I don't see a real downside. I mean, he definitely could pop a U-turn. I think that, that that play would be best for him. Um, I guess he could, if he does U-turn. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he would want to really U-turn into. But he does go for the U-turn. Um, that's almost certainly modest U-turn uh, damage. I don't know what he'd want to go into, now that I look at it. Although, I guess we'll all find out together. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he wants to, I don't know, maybe set out Toxic Spice, but he knows that I can get rid of them. He could try to set something up with, with um, Snorlax. Goes into this thing, okay, okay. I mean, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, what I really want to do is I, I want to go directly into Serena. But I also think that that's um, moderately risky in case... 
um, I get Scald Burned, obviously. Um, could also Fire Blast. I guess I didn't think about that before I clicked my move, but uh, we're already here. I mean, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, I guess. Uh, there's not a whole lot that I could do about that. Uh, Trick Room would be problematic, obviously. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that's okay. Uh, let's see. With the Slow King, Fire Blast is going to be an issue. But I also don't think he would leave this thing in to, to potentially go down to a really strong hit. Um, and I think I should be able to take a Fire Blast regardless. So yeah, I, I'm just going to try to pop a U-turn. I'm also going to try to take a little bit less time than I have been. But I actually go first. I wonder why I go first in this situation. Uh, it is Rocky Helmet. But what's... Is he going for an Avalanche? I don't know. I don't quite know. Regardless, I think I should do this? Question mark. Is he reversing Trick Room? I... Goes for a Teleport. Okay, okay. That's... That's dope. That's dope. But again, um, it's the same kind of situation as with the U as with the Noivern. I don't know what he would want to switch into in the situation. Um, to some extent, uh, Slow King was the optimal play for him to go for. Uh, goes into the Melmetal. Which is really interesting. Now, I am not... This time, I am not a... A... I guess I should just go for the Thunder Wave. Um, I really would want to get off a Thunder Wave off on the Noivern. Uh, this is really my best anti-Noivern check. Maybe I should just keep it around for that alone. But I think even if I just waste waste a turn or two of Trick Room, then I think that's fine with me, honestly. And, I mean, obviously a full Pharaoh would be neat, but it's not really what I'm going for here. I should be able to take... Oh my god, I don't. Um, this is almost definitely banded, I have to imagine, because um, I did have Klefki against the Melmetal uh, in another league, and that that Klefki was max defensive, but um, this is just kind of nutty. Um, actually, I could go into... No, I actually... No. I probably should just do this. Try to get some hazards up. Try to make some things happen in that way. And as honestly, as long as I can wait out a turn of Trick Room, because I think it's only like one or two turns. Two turns left, which I think is fine. I can just... Well, I set up spikes, but uh, I can set up rocks on the next turn. I, I can't imagine getting o code by this thing. And, and again, there's always the possibility of... Of a... Of a full para. Uh, regardless, I think, I think, I mean, I think this is fine. I think it will be fine. I hope. Um. Actually, Banded, Banded Melmetal almost KOs. I think I should always take one. Um, does get fully paired, which is honestly unfortunate, but. Uh, this will be the last turn of. This will be the last turn of the Trick Room. Let's get paralyzed again. Dang. Dang. I mean, okay, let me look at his removal. Um, it's it's Weezing and Noivern. I think I'm just gonna give this thing up because I think that's gonna put me in a position where honestly, um Cinderace might be in a really interesting position. That's going to be the Noivern again. Uh, this Noivern's probably boots with... Boots with... Uh, Defog. So I'm going to try to manage that. Although, let me see something here. I'm going to knock off the boots at the very least. And then... Yeah, it does look like... Goes for a Hurricane straight up. As I avoid a Hurricane... Um, yeah, wow. I mean, I, 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 I just don't know. I just don't know. 
I mean, as long as he's going to continue to try to take me out, I don't mind going down here because this is just... Oof. Yikes. I don't know, man. I'm just going to say I'm sorry about that, man. Um, regardless, I believe that is, is that already three layers or, yeah, that's already three layers of spikes. Um, I could just try to get some more damage off, uh, this way, but I actually don't, do I avoid another one? I avoid another one. Um, I don't even know what to do in this situation. I don't want to switch anything into this, right? Because, like... Um, Primarina was my, it does finally land one. Uh, I definitely don't mind it off. I get taken out by this. Um, I will, will be to, I will be able to knock off one more time, but, um, I also don't want to, I don't want to get in a position where I can, where he can defog and, and, uh, Take me out on... He might not have Defog, right? So, Hurricane Roost... No, I think... No. It's it's still very possible. I don't want to ever be in a position where... Where he can... um Where he can take me out. And leave me without rocks on the field. So, I'm going to just force him to take me out. I don't think... I don't think that's going to be a huge deal here. Um... And I think... I think I'm in a position. I'm just going to assume that this is a really offensive Noivern. We can make this Specs Noivern and take away the Specs because it has no item. Um, and I think Primarina just takes anything. Yeah. Yeah, Primarina just takes anything. And no matter what wants to come in, even if the Melmetal wants to come in, that is... That is, uh, he has to deal with a lot of hazards and two moon blasts. So, I mean, he could defog right now, which would be unfortunate. It goes for a U turn. Okay. So, Neuvern's gonna take a decent amount of damage when it comes back in. But, I mean, the Melmetal can come in. And, and if the Melmetal comes in, then I'm, I have to sack something. But I don't think that's the biggest deal in the world? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have to see. Um, goes into this thing. Um, it's still going to be a very decent amount of damage. And I'm not entirely sure. I mean, do I sack something again? I don't know. I, 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 like, I don't know what to make of the situation right now. Um... I'm trying to think. No, I think just staying in here is fine. I think? Question mark? I'm not. I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, because I think that my mons in my in the back doesn't G Max. I think the mons in the back are still going to be more useful to me. Goes for a rest. Okay. Okay. Well, can't be resto chesto. And I actually think that allows me to go into my that gives me a free option into my Cinderace here. Um, but at the same time, I, I feel like just attacking is strong here, right? Because we're, we're kind of back at square one. This could be rest, sleep, talk, I guess. Rest, talk. But I still feel like the mons in the back are going to end up being more valuable in the longer run, especially if this thing, if this thing goes down and Snorlax has enough damage onto it. Uh, there's the body slam. I was just about to say, I'd really like not to get parried, but, um, we do get parried. Uh, huh. I mean, again, I, I don't know how to play this really. Because obviously, like, this is not good. It's not, but it's not the worst I don't think um so now he's definitely going to click rest and I think that's going to be an opportunity 
for this to come in here. Because he either, he either has to switch out or click rest. Right? He's not really in a position where he can um, do anything else. I guess... I don't know. I guess he could... GMAX. I guess he could... I don't know. I don't think he would want to give up the Snorlax right now. Right? But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, this could this could be bad. I don't know. But I can't be max struck struck striked. Um, I don't know. This this could have been a mistake. Uh, realistically, I could have just let Premarina go down. Obviously, it's about to wake up now. I'm gonna get hit pretty hard right now. There's the G Max replenish. Uh, it doesn't KO, which is dope. It's awesome. And... Uh, I don't know. Snorlax. Yeah. I mean, obviously... Obviously, Weezing can come in. Yeah, taking this thing down is important. If the Weezing comes in... If the, I mean, if the reason comes in, I can maybe even bring in my Cinderace. I can go hard into Cinderace and um, go for, I mean, a Zen Headbutt at that point, right? Cinderace doesn't really touch the, the Sloking that well. But, with all the hazards, it's going to make it really difficult for whatever wants to come in. I think he ought, I think he has to go into either the Weezing or the Noivern. And, I mean, Noivern allows me to sack off my Primarina. And, and, Weezing allows me to go into Cinderace. And... From there, Cinderace can can Mindstorm. If the Slowking comes in, I can... I can... Yeah, okay. Okay. Trick Room would be uh, not great, but at the very least, that'll allow me to get um, some Pre Marina hits. And... Uh... I don't know. I very well could have misplayed hard against against um against that Noivern and just like having an inoptimal stand slash set, but um at the same time. Yeah, this is a teleport play. Which I don't know. Is a fine question mark? I don't know. I don't know if it is, but I guess we'll see. Because Melmetal's going to come in. Melmetal's going to come in, and it's going to... I mean, Mel Melmetal can't really lock itself into anything except Double Iron Bash. Which is fine. Um... Is there anything... No, I don't think there's anything that's worth doing here. Um, if, if there's anything that's going to make this thing this really difficult for me, it's going to be <sighs> another paralysis. Okay, that's that that's I don't know. I, I, like I don't even know what to say anymore. That is very respectable damage. It makes it a lot easier on my on my Cinderace to come in and attempt to clean things up. But I think the mo I, I think the most important thing about that is that it wastes turns of Trick Room, and now Cinderace is going to be able to come in. Oh my god, dude. I just don't know what to say. Because again, I mean I mean the biggest thing is that it burns turns of trick room, and I think this is the last turn of trick room, yeah. So now my Cinderace is going to be in a really, really interesting position. Um 
I... We both get paralyzed, okay. But, I mean, the bigger thing is that Trick Room is over, so I can move and he can't, really. Um... I'm also trying to do solid on time, but um, my moves are not that difficult right now. Um, I think of anything. I think of anything. I don't know. It just it just says I like I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. No even still potentially beats me unless Cinderace gets an opportunity while is while it's still G maxed. But I think Cinderace can pull something off here. That's interesting. Um, it makes it a lot easier if the Sloking is, isn't around. I think that's obvious. But um, I'm trying to think. All right, so what does he have left? He just has the Noivern, Sloking, and the Weezing. Yeah, I mean, I can I, I can always miss another hurricane or, or or avoid another hurricane, right? Uh, he does land it. We could take it. No, okay, that's fine. Um, but now I'm going to be in a position where. Um, Cinderace kind of has to manage this thing. Uh, I think, man, I think Max Knuckle is honestly free here because it's going to either allow it. I think he switches out here. I think he switches out here. And no matter what switch, I really couldn't imagine him not switching here. I, yeah, I mean, let's go for it, right? But... Goes for a roost. Okay. Okay. I can respect that. But, um. Oh, did I not G Max? I didn't G Max. Oh my god. That's. That's, uh. Embarrassing. But ultimately. Mildly better for me. <laughs> mildly better for me. Um, yeah, I'd be very curious to see if, to see if he switches out. He doesn't look like he switches out again. Um, he could just try to roost all me, I guess. He could just try to roost all me. And, uh, that would obviously suck, but, I mean, honestly, he, he he's missed so many hurricanes, he might be close to running out of hurricanes reasonably soon but there's the roost I think I think the interesting thing here is that if I get to plus two attack oh that that is still very respectful damage I think the interesting thing here is that if I get to plus two attack I think he has to attack me now right if I get to plus two attack then Cinderace potentially wins outright but I also can't really risk it. Oh man, what do I do? I think I ha yeah, I think I have to knuckle again. I think I have to knuckle again. Super Fang, that's dope. Oh, I okay. So that's some, that's a Dynamax mechanic that I didn't even know. So Super Fang uh, go, goes for the original HP of the of the original deducts HP based on the original HP stat. That's something that I didn't even know. Like obviously, like leftovers calculates based off of the off of the um, original HP stat, but I did not know that about about Super Fang as well. That is nuts. And I think and I think not knowing that Dynamax mechanic, which is honestly kind of broken and honestly um, shouldn't be a thing. Um, might potentially be the thing that wins the match here. He does go for the roost, but um, a plus two G Max Fireball should always KO in this situation. I think. 
And then, I believe, Cinderay should always be able to, to kind of um, win, the, win out the rest of this matchup here. Um, and yeah, I don't think that I played well in this matchup. I think Neuvern um, should have beaten me. I think Neuvern always had the tools to beat me. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's really tough to say. Because... I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, like, I don't, like I'm kind of speechless. I don't really know what to say. Um, and now, none of my moves are really accurate. So I don't really know what to go for. I think my most accurate move is just send headbutt, right? 90, 90. Oh, they're all 90. Okay. That's, that, that changes, a, that changes a little bit. I can just pyro ball. Um... But hopefully we can just land this and land a plus two Zen headbutt on Weezing. And and I don't even think that I've revealed it yet. So even like a max defense a Galarian Weezing at plus two. Oh my god, a max defense Galarian Weezing should, should t still take this. I mean, hey, if it comes down... Oh, but after... Uh, yeah, I know. After... After rocks and spikes, um, this should always be a KO. So yeah, I don't know. Like, like I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I don't really know what to say. I'm, I'm sorry about everything that happened, but uh, I mean, that, I guess that's kind of how I had to go to, go to four and four. Um, the rest of the season is still going to be a journey. It's still going to be a really difficult road. Do we land it? We do land it. It's still going to be a really difficult road. Um, because I will be playing two very strong players to kind of try to end end, end out the season six and four but uh there, i mean there's nothing left to do but to play them out right so we'll be back really really soon with more weeks of the gdl more weeks of the abl but again i, I was speechless through half the match and part of it is, um, is, is i'm tired i'm playing this is being played at three in the morning I, my time and um I'm really not in the best mind space to be playing this, and like I said, I really wasn't in the best mind mind space to be building this team. But um, I really did want to build out some mods that were that I thought that I thought I could have fun with, um, some sets that I thought I could have fun with, and um, I guess this is ultimately what happened. I I don't even want to count how many times he got paralyzed, how many hurricanes he missed, and how many just insane things happened in that matchup. But I kind of played it, I guess, the way that I had to. I, I mean, I mean, part of me says that a lot of those turn misses didn't matter because I was sacking off the Sand Slash and I was trying to sack off the 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 Premier Arena. But the but the fact of the matter is that 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 um I burned many more Trick Room returns than I should have been able to. But I think that's actually going to be it for me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.